The leaders of the U.S. National Academy of Sciences and Nobel Foundation met in Washington ahead of our Nobel Prize Summit to discuss how we can build trust in truth, facts, and scientific evidence to create a more hopeful future for all. I don't think the truth has ever mattered more. We've seen it in terms of death toll from the pandemic. We've seen it in terms of the outcome of political contests, which are being uh, nudged in one direction or another through misinformation. It um, really is serious in this day and age when information moves at the speed of light it's not always trustworthy. The war in Ukraine, misinformation and disinformation is a big part of uh, the actual warfare. If you look at the pandemic, uh, misinformation, the so-called infodemic, uh, is one of the legacies that we need to deal with. And on climate change, uh, despite the overwhelming scientific evidence um, and despite widespread popular support for climate action, there is still a lot of misinformation and disinformation and uh, movements thriving on, uh, on that. It's as if war, climate change, and a pandemic aren't bad enough, but misinformation is making it worse. So we have to get on top of this. We have to find solutions to it because we've got enough problems in our lives without misinformation making it that much worse. We know that misinformation and disinformation is undermining uh, science and trust in science. And we think it is important uh, to uh, shed light on it and not least to look at how can we combat it and how can we build on what actually works in terms of trust and truth. And we hope that the Nobel Prize Summit will be able to demonstrate this and to bring to the table a lot of actors. Ultimately, I think the solution to this is to train all citizens to be much smarter consumers. We all have our implicit biases that could be preventing us from actually knowing when we are victims of misinformation. What we should really focus on is learning from the success stories. Why is it that we trust certain things and uh, what can we learn from that? Science can do many things. Science can. Uh, get to the depth of the problem and uh, illuminate what the problem consists of. But science can also uh, get better at communicating uh, why science is important, why science means much for our daily lives, and why trust in science is important for trust in society. The reason we need diverse perspectives at the summit is, first of all, this is a global problem. This is not just a US problem. It's a global problem, and so we need the input from the international community. Secondly, we need to hear from youth. These people were born digital natives. It's not a problem that scientists are gonna solve. We need the platform providers. We need uh, policy experts. We need educators. How do we educate our students to be more savvy about what they're reading? This is really an all-hands-on-deck problem. Because no sector of society is untouched by uh, the problem of misinformation and disinformation and malinformation. And that also means we need to mobilize across society to counter that problem and to build uh, trust in society, to build respect for the need for truth-seeking. Uh, and I think uh, we can't limit that to scientists. We can't limit it to policymakers uh, or civil society. We need everyone to get on board. Please join us May 24th through the 26th. Learn more at NobelPrize.org.